Yo, what's up guys? Today we are on smogun.com and uh, I basically wanted to let you know how to take place in tournaments, how to come up in the tournament scene. A lot of people have been wondering this and I didn't mean to like steal zeros, <laughs> zeros lines. So a lot of people have been wondering, how do I get into Smogon tournaments? Nah, but uh, in any case, I really did want to show this is something that a lot of people have asked me, especially because I upload World Cup, I upload SPL. I upload different tournaments that I am a part of on Smogon, so I figured I might as well uh, let you guys know. So we're on Smogon.com slash forums. Um, I'm going to let you know the truth. When I was on this for the first time uh, back in 2009, 2010, I was like, it didn't look like this, by the way. They updated it. But I was like, what the hell? How do you use this site? I've never really used forums. Uh, so the most important section for tournaments is obviously the tournament section. So we're going to be clicking here. And um, tournaments are a great way to just get better at Pokemon in general, I feel, uh, especially because it lets you understand the metagame. A lot of us, we play by Smogon's rules, so this definitely lets us understand the metagame. And um, one of the main things I think you need to understand in order to get into tournaments is the major tournament schedule, which shows the list of every single tournament or every single major tournament happening for 2016. So obviously we had SPL. Or the Smogon Premier League, which started January 1st, and that's already finished. Or they're in the final week right now. And then there's Smogon Tour. Um, and then there's... Well, these are not in order. McMegan. What the hell? Okay, this is the new... This is the old one. My bad, my bad, guys. My bad. Anyway. Uh, so we have the Smogon Premier League, which obviously is in its final week. Uh, Blunder's in finals, which is pretty cool, him and his team. And then we have Smogon Tournament, um, which is the... Uh, OST, which is what I'm in and a few other friends of ours. And then we have obviously Smoke on Tour Season uh, 21. So this is um, probably a pretty big important tournament for people who want to get noticed, for people who want to get picked up and drafted uh, for things like SPL and uh, pick up for World Cup. Basically, uh, Smoke on Tour is... I think a what is it 12 week tour I think it's a 12 week tour or a nine week tour okay it's nine week tour where uh, every Friday Saturday and Sunday Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern and Sunday at uh, 2 p.m. Eastern you are able to sign up for a tournament it's pretty simple like they'll post a tournament let's say like here week one let's go go to what happened uh, Remedy was in charge of this one. He was hosting it on the Smog Tour server. This server is pretty important. This is pretty much the server where all official Smog on stuff goes down or tournaments, unless you're playing on like an alt somewhere else and you don't want to be known. But uh, basically, they um, post the signups, and all you have to do is post in on time. And then you'd be matched up with somebody and you'd play them here. And it's a couple hours, it's a couple hours long, especially if you get far, because it's round one. And then, depending on how many people they are, it can go on to a bunch of rounds. Look at that, Blunder made it to finals of this one, nice. Not bad. I heard he got blown back by CL, but that's okay. <laughs> but uh, this one's really cool because it starts off ORS OU in the first week, and then it becomes the um, black and white OU, excuse me, in the second week, or weekend, whatever. And then the third weekend it becomes, which is what we are in right now, it becomes uh, DPP OU. So I'll show you right now. As you can see... Um, Black and white OU number one, black and white owner number two, black and white owner number three. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all already done. So this uh, this Friday, for example, what is that? April is that April first? I think yes, it is. Okay, this Friday, April first at six p.m. Eastern, there will be signups posted by somebody who is hosting the tour that day, uh, which will be on Smog Tours. So you have to be on Smog Tours, and um, they would tell you, okay, you sign up here at six p.m. They'll put the signups, and you just put in, and you just wait. And then hopefully you get in. Um, the reason I think that these individual tournaments are so important for getting picked up in uh, what I consider to be one of the most fun tournaments, the Smog on Premier League, which is when you're drafted and you're on a team. Uh, I also consider World Cup to be one of the most fun tournaments. But I think SPL is definitely my favorite. And the reason I think these are very important is because if you can show that you can excel individually, people will want to pick you up, especially if you sign up. And signups always go up on um, the date here. I'll actually have all this stuff linked below. But I think that's very important, especially because a lot of people call the, S, uh, the SPL, the Small Guard Premier League, the, search, <laughs> the Circle Jerk Premier League, which is pretty much, it's not necessarily wrong because you're picked up if you're known. 
You're straight up picked up if you're known, if you have done something in the uh, or in any tier or in any tournament. So if you actually go far in OST, um, I guess I'll show you. So going back to uh, the tournament section right here, um, the one of the major tournaments going on right now is uh, Smoke on Tournament 12. So if you actually get far in here, and I'm not talking about like top 64 or 0 32. I guess this is top 64, right? Because there's 64 of us. Yeah, because it's 32 matches, so 64 of us. Yeah, if you get like to like top four of this or finals or semifinals, or if you win the tour, your chances of getting picked up when you post in for this are huge because you have already proven yourself uh, that you can do well. So that's something you can do um, to get well. There's another tournament the ladder tournament that I always always upload on my channel this starts August 1st apparently wow starting even sooner than I thought I uh, he, uh, he did say Grand Slam was doing this ladder tournament okay so he did say they would start sooner but um, that's another tournament where all you have to do is ladder in order to get it and the signups are posted August 1st uh, it's pretty much all in the tournament section it would be posted like right here all the way on top it would be uh, it would be bookmarked right up here or bulletin sticky okay they call it sticky so it would be right here and uh, basically this would um, you would sign up for it you'd be like in or whatever let me see if I can find this official ladder tournament okay so they have the DVP ones all right so right here so basically um, they have like little signups for it and you'd be able to post in, you make your account, and then you'd ladder. And if you do well on that, chances are, unless you're a cancer while you're doing well, like Telly. Uh, I have nothing against uh, uh, Telly now, though. But, like, during it, he was talking a lot of crap. And people might like that for entertainment purposes, but people don't want that for a team. People want to pick up a teammate that will either get wins and, you know, be help for the team. But they don't want somebody that can get wins but talk so much trash and uh, be just a team cancer and have there be fights within the team and things like that so um the ladder tournament is another way uh the grant uh, grand slam is actually not a bad tournament as well uh, grand slam takes every single tier um of the official tiers but but uh ou and i think i'm not sure if they're having pu this year but they're in opens and you sign up for them and then uh, another important thing is actually staying you know active on the forums you don't have to be super active but just log in a day if you sign up for a tournament and it's a tournament that takes weeks to happen you're gonna have to sign in so that way you don't get acti activity losses at all um so that's another thing you could do but grand slam is pretty fun and uh yeah it's really fun because it lets you it lets people show that they are good in the lower tiers and this is something that's very very important for spl because spl people tend to pick up a lot of this is where a lot of players start to get noticed in SPL because oh, they're good at a certain tier. They've been told that they've been good at a certain tier. Like if you make it to uh, like the look at that, Sife got picked up this year. I don't think Sife got picked up last year. He made it to the UU finals, like the finals of it. And he played RU in uh, SPL, if I'm not mistaken. But um, yeah, you do well in a tournament. And these are all individual tournaments. I'm not saying you have to work on it by yourself. No, when I do these tournaments, I have plenty of friends who play plenty of different tiers and I work with them we build teams together and things like that or just take their team and I win with it or lose you know that's how it goes but uh, that's definitely one of the ways you could do that um, Grand Slam which is an individual tournament uh, Smoke on Tour which is an individual tournament uh, Smoke on Tournament which is OST which you can't sign up for right now and the Smoke on Classic which is another personal favorite of mine it's pretty much Grand Slam with all the OGENs there's RBY, GSC, uh, ADV, DVP and uh, black and white i don't care about black and white but the fact that it has those first four which is obviously gens one through four if you didn't know um again it's a great way to uh, get noticed you start winning in those you start doing well and you don't even have to be good in the tier to get noticed i mean pokemon is half luck it's not all skill so get in there do your best and you can get far um and if you miss this season this one on tour there's two a year so september 2nd that's a long way off but uh yeah, you can compete. But like I said, the the main tournaments that you're probably going to want to compete in right now is Smog on Tour. So you're going to want to go to the tournament section. You go smogon.com slash forums. I'll show you again. You go to the tournament section. Click. Uh, not SPL. Shout out to Blender though. I'll show you this real quick just to show you. I, I really wanted to make this because I feel like... Okay, a lot of the information I said might be confusing. But if you just rewatch the video and you literally look at where I clicked, you'll be fine. It'd be completely fine. You just gotta read. That's another thing. You gotta read. So look at it. Blender versus Riku. 
That'd be pretty fun. Ooh, SG versus Case. Newbury versus Mero. Anyway. So, um, yeah, I clicked the wrong thing. But Smog on Tour, this is one of the main ones that you can sign up for. Uh, not right now, but when the posts go up. This is not one you have to be active for like a couple hours, especially if you plan on doing well. Like a four-hour tour usually. Uh, three to four hours, sometimes more, depending. Uh, it's DBPOU though, so I don't expect it to be that long because a lot of people don't actually sign up for the DBP tours. I don't know why. DBP is my favorite gen. Yeah, that's definitely why that's should sign up because it's my favorite gen. But uh, Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern. Saturday, 4 p.m. Eastern. And Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern. That's when the tours and the signups go up. So you just got to be on Smog Tour. Uh, they'll If you actually just log in the Smog Tour, uh, let's log in. Not that you could chat now, but the host, it will be someone with this power right here. Um, they will post, okay, signups are up, and then you can just click it and then sign up. And you just have to be on around that time, or like two minutes before six. That way you know when the signups are up, that way you can make it. Because if you're a couple minutes late, chances are you won't make it, uh, depending on how many people sign up. But that's one of the best ways to um, really get into Smogon tournaments and to get picked up and get noticed um, by doing well in individual tournaments. I think laddering is semi-important. People will know you from the ladder. But don't be one of those cancer ladder players that... Okay, I, I don't... I throw the term cancer loosely, but um, just don't be one of those players that's just talking. <laughs> don't be a Hito Fajito member. Nah, don't be one of those players that Blender talked about the five players on the uh, ladder. I don't know if you guys ever saw that video, but that was a pretty funny video. Um, we'll actually go to it real quick. Thunder Blender 7's up done. Uh, but don't be one of those players because... Ooh, nice thumbnail. Don't be one of those players because those are players that people don't want to pick up because they are players that will be cancer for the team. I watched all these videos on my phone. But uh, there's the players that talk crap. It's like, oh my god, I got hacks. Oh my god, blah, 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 blah. Don't be like that because that's not going to let people pick you up. I'll give you an example for for example, yes. Um, again, going back to Telly, I have nothing against him now, but uh, he's a, a pretty good ladder player. And um, he did really well in the uh, ladder tournament because after you ladder up and qualify, you actually get into like a top 64 and you battle. Um, but even though he did really well, people never picked him up for these types of tours, the team tournaments like SPL. Uh, I don't know if he, I think he signed up. I'm not sure. I could be just talking crap, but basically, or he could have been banned around there. I don't even know. If he got banned, it was on his own accord. But basically, don't be a cancer, like, just ladder, do your thing on the side, uh, do well on Smog on Tour. Um, basically, if you qualify, if you win or even get high, if you get like to round four or five of a couple weeks and then maybe you win a week or something like that, you're automatically in. You'll make it. Uh, because the standings, in order to qualify for the actual tour itself, I mean, this is just great practice in general. You have to have, uh, you gain points by getting up to a certain place. So CL won week one. Um, so he got 12 points for that. And then he got some points in black and white, etc., etc. So this is just a great way um, to not even, you don't even have to, maybe you're entering Smog on Tour not to get to the finals. That's fine. This is just a great way to play experienced players. Uh, chances are you're going to play against experienced players because a lot of them try to make it to um, playoffs of Smog on Tour. So it's just a great way to learn and uh, it's a good way to have battles. And um, yeah, it's just, it's good for you, I think, if you're into, you know, competitive Pokemon. Obviously, Smog on side of it anyway. But uh, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If I don't answer them, I'm sure I have a bunch of subscribers that are a part of Smogon that do all this stuff. I'm sure they will answer them for you. But yeah, that's going to be it, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to your thing. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye.